I fed my starter last night and I'm trying to make a sourdough bread today. So uh, let's see how it goes. So yeah, so nine, so here there are 250 grams of flour and I'm gonna add in uh, 163 grams of water. And that's about it. So now I'm just gonna briefly mix all this water and flour together. And now I'm just gonna let this dough sit here for an hour to let it hydrate. So yeah, it's uh, about one hour in and I think the dough is like already got some texture. I'm gonna stretch it a little bit and not tear it. And now it's time to put in salt and the starter. And I'll also put in around five grams of salt. This is after about 5 minutes of kneading in the machine and like It's like pretty good Not really Not really perfect but getting there So I'm gonna transfer it to one of these plastic box for the fermentation. It'll fold and like get it away from the wall of the mixing bowl. This then. So I'll do the washing now immediately because I think uh, it's much harder to clean it after it's dry. So it's been 30 minutes and now I'm gonna do my first set of stretch and fold which basically means you um, stretch, out, you stretch out the dough like before it tears and fold it back in to itself and do it like to all four sides. And yeah, that's it. I'll do another one in um, the next 30 minutes. So, 
been four hours into the fermentation process and I think it's time to like get us out Now I'm gonna try shape the dough. Um, so usually at this point I would like put the whole thing into the fridge and let it sit there overnight before baking it. So this is day two morning. I just pulled the dough out of the fridge and I put the Dutch oven in the oven to preheat. And um, I'm just gonna transfer the dough to a baking paper and score it and then put it inside the Dutch oven. Lid on and bake it for a while and then lid off and bake it for a little bit more 